For many years, my foot held me back from doing some activities I love. Up until the summer of 2015, surgery helped change it all. Hi, my name is Paul Plantone, and I'm going to share a story with you that has helped me become a better individual. For many years, I've had to deal with a bunion on the left side of my foot, which was extremely painful when I walked or skied during the winter. I consulted my doctor on what I should do about my foot, and the best route he suggested was to perform surgery. Well, there's two diff different types of bunions. The one bunion occurs around the great toe joint area, and that's usually due to a biomechanical instability. And the second one that occurs is around the fifth toe joint area, which is usually a congenital abnormality, and it's a bowing of the bone, um, as in Paul's case. Paul's surgery went very well because, one, he's young and healthy. Um, the problem with the surgery generally is that the bone is so thin that you can't cut it. But in his case, the bone is thicker and healthier, so we were able to make a cut and straight the bone, straighten out the bowing with the appropriate fixation. The recovery process took about six to eight weeks before I could really get back on my feet. Now that I'm a lot healthier, I started physical therapy to help rehabilitate my foot and leg to get it back where it once was and to make it stronger. This surgery had a big impact on me because now I'll be able to ski more than I usually could and participate in activities that would usually wear down my foot. Simply wearing different shoes would affect how much pain was in my foot when I walked. The level of discomfort I endured was almost at a 10, or to the point where I had to be off my feet. Now that I went through the foot surgery, my pain level is at a 1, and once I'm done with physical therapy, my goal is to have absolutely no pain in my foot. Without the restriction on my foot, I plan to be as active as much as I can and get back to skiing in the winter. Life throws you obstacles, but it's up to you to determine what you'll do about it.